Hey, welcome back to GNH Honeybees. It is May 26, 2024, and it's about 11 degrees Celsius right now. And it's finally, it's quit raining again for a little while anyway. You can see your sky up there, it's just gray clouds everywhere. No sunshine. Been like this for three days again. And it's never ending. It's not supposed to clear up until about Thursday again. And it's only been getting up to, I don't know, 11, 11 to 12 degrees Celsius during the day, down to 8 at night. And uh, we finally, it's dried out a bit. We have some bees out flying but not like they should be and look at the pile of dead bees down in front of this box here all because they've got come out and they've gotten wet and I see a couple in there struggling so I don't know if they're on the verge of being dead or what and there's some over dead on the front of that one from the rain. Oh, we've had one Arctic outflow after another come in here. We get like one or two days of sunshine or maybe a day and a half of sunshine and then it just turns cloudy, miserable and the wind is blowing and then it starts to rain and then the wind blows some more. And right now we seem to be in a calm. But uh, it's coming again later today. And from what I've seen from the long range forecast, this is just going to continue. This is not our normal, typical weather here. We're, oh, a good 8 to 10 degrees Celsius below our average daily temperatures. We should be, you know, 18 to 20 degrees during the day. And no lower than 11 or 12 at night but we're not even reaching our regular nighttime temperatures right now and it's having an effect on the bees so I know there's made a queen in here made a queen in here <clears throat> this was the nuke that I did the video of that had the made queen in but I got a few minutes the other day to have a quick look and she wasn't in there Oh, so I think she might have gone out to do some more mating and God only knows if she's going to come back or if she did come back. There's an unmated queen in here or at least there was but I haven't had a chance to check. <clears throat> so and I've got an ant or something crawling up my pant leg. I haven't had a chance to check whether I'm not opening when it's raining. So, so I don't know if she went out to mate and never came back or if she did come back and she's laying eggs. I have absolutely no idea. There's a mated queen in this box. And uh, this is the only one I haven't done an artificial swarm on. They haven't gotten into the mood yet. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking I was going to have to start feeding them sugar water again if... They don't get out. I have been feeding the the nuke sugar water because there's just not that many bees flying from them, but there should be thousands of bees coming out of these big boxes going out foraging, but there's not. So hopefully, and God willing, we'll get some good weather here soon. Like this is getting beyond ridiculous. The the cold weather we've been having so I did get this out a while ago this is my little watering station for the bees and they love it there's only a couple here right now but then again there's not that many bees out flying but it just dribbles a little bit of water from a pump in the bottom there's a solar panel which is just barely working today. See there's a third one just showed up.
Let them come over here and get a drink of water and then go home. So, anyway, that's all I have to report. Now, this box here, um, if this queen did go out to mate and she didn't come back, I may have to put the old queen back in there because I looked online to see if I could buy some queens, mated queens, and uh, there's none available right at the moment. So, what I was thinking I could do is the queen from Hive 2, which is this one, is actually in this box here. And I could put her in a queen cage and um, put her back on top of the frames here and let them have her back if that's the case. But I need to get in here and find out what exactly their condition is. And the weather's just not letting me. And I have two nukes and two big boxes over at my other location. And they've all got new queens in them. And I have no idea if they're mated or not either. So I'm crossing my fingers that we're going to get some sunshine at some point. And some nice warm weather that I can get in here and have a look at these girls and see what exactly is going on. So anyway, having said that, I've got, you can see I've got my coat on because it's, you know, kind of gotten used to the warm weather that when it was here and now, now it feels a whole lot colder. <laughs> so anyway, um, I might be back on in a few days. It all depends. The long range forecast doesn't bode too well for what's coming at us so i don't know these weather fronts seem to roll down the west coast of canada from alaska and then they get sort of stuck in a holding pattern over top of us right here around south end of vancouver island and uh, it just sort of hangs out over top of us and does not want to go away and then the next one rolls in right after it and it does the same thing so i've never seen anything quite like it and hopefully i'll never see it again so anyway having said that i will talk to you again soon bye for now